What's up, wide receivers? Once again, this is Billy McMullen, Wide Receiver Nation. Here to get you all the information you need, all the instructional videos you need to be a better receiver and accomplish what you want to accomplish this year and in your career, okay? I'm a seven-year NFL vet, play for multiple teams, uh, Minnesota Vikings to be one, and Philadelphia Eagles, so I got a lot of information to share with you guys. All right, so I see a lot of guys, especially younger receivers, uh, that don't know what to do with their hands and off coverage or man press. And what I mean by that, before the snap of the ball, okay? Your hands are either too high, too low, but you sort of want to have your hands in a proper place so you can react a little faster to what the defensive back is doing or so you can come out with the ball faster, okay? So basically what I'm saying is I see a lot of receivers that are lined up on the ball and we have all coverage, okay? We have all coverage and your hands are way up here. All right, what is that affording you? Nothing, your hands are way up here. At the start of the ball, you're gonna drop your hands anyway and then go. All right, I see some guys right here spinning their hands, wasting energy, that's doing nothing for you. All right, I understand you gotta get your rhythm, but this is doing nothing for you, all right? I like when I'm on the ball or off, I have off coverage, I like to have my hands down by my knees, okay? Why? Because at the initial snap of the ball, I'm going into a full sprint. Boom, all right? Or other foot up, full sprint. Bam, all right? Just like a sprinter, okay? Full sprint. So if my hands are up here, I'm gonna drop them anyway. So if you have all coverage, just put your hands down, get comfortable, be ready to rock. You can get your rhythm down here, all right? You can even have them a little higher here, but at the same time, when you come off the ball, you're in a full sprint, all right? So if the defensive back rolls up, all right? The same thing goes for this. If he rolls up, the tighter, all right? I still see some of you guys up here. Guess what's gonna happen? At the snap of the ball, you're dropping your hands, and you're gonna hit me, all right? My hand's too low at the drop of the ball, boom, you're gonna hit me. So if I got man pressed, find a little happy medium for your hands, just like a boxer will, would. So if you box, you see boxes. If you see a boxer boxing like this, you see a boxer that's about to lose, all right? His hand's too low. He has no guard. Put your guard up, all right? So I'm right here, I got my guard up. So if he throws a hand out, boom, I can catch him. Even if he hits me in my shoulder, I still can catch him, catch him, boom, I can catch him, all right? So too, too low, too high man press is gonna get you eaten alive. Find your medium, find yourself ready to rock, all right? So when you come off, you can make your move and catch him, all right? It's a little simple things that's gonna get you money, all right? So hand placement before the snap of the ball is a very, very important thing, all right? Once again, this is Billy McMullen, Wide Receiver Nation. Subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram. Let's get this money.